All right, Artastic Nation. So for Thanksgiving, we're gonna be drawing a lovely, cute turkey because obviously all turkeys are super cute. So let's get started. First, you can either use crayons or you can use pastel. I like pastel because they're a little bit more opaque and they make a darker mark, but you can do the same thing with um, crayons as well, so wax crayons. Or if you wanna do it um, completely differently, feel free to use just pencils or pencil crayons or felt markers and uh, you can color it in your own way. Today I'm gonna to be teaching um, oil pastel and paint, but again, you don't have to paint it all, you can simply just color it in. So let's get started. We're gonna start off by drawing the top of the turkey's head. We wanna leave a little bit of space, so probably about at least a finger, finger length um, space from the top of your page. Um, to where we're going to start the turkey's head. So we have a little bit of negative space up here. We don't want to draw too high or too low, otherwise we won't be able to have the whole turkey fit on our page in a balanced way. So we're going to begin off with drawing some zigzag lines for the top of the turkey's um, head to create some feathers. Next, I'm going to draw some... I'm gonna draw some eyeballs with some big circles because the bigger the eyes, the cuter your turkey is. And of course, we're gonna draw some pupils leaving a white circle um, in the inside for the glare of light. Next, we want to draw that, I think it's called a snood on the turkey's um, nose and a little beak. We're gonna draw a round face around the turkey. And then next, some curved lines to create the feathers on the neck. Two lines down, about the length of your pinky finger. End it with some curved lines. And then we're ready for the body. We're going to draw two wings. They're a little bit, they're going to be a little bit longer than the body itself. And then just on the inside, we're going to draw just a curve line at the bottom for the body, bottom of the body, and two legs. So I draw the length of the legs first, and then simply draw some zigzag lines for the toes. Next, we're going to draw the um, the feathers, the tail feathers. Sorry, my oil pastel broke, and that's gonna that's just that's just one of my that's just not very ideal for me. So it's easier to hold it when it's not broken. Um, we're gonna draw big curving uh, tail feathers just like this. That kind of go in a circle around the body. The places where I can't see um, the tail feathers, I just simply connect to wherever the next part of the body is. And we're just drawing curves with lines. If you happen to do something like that, don't worry, just blend it out. It'll blend into the bod the paint or if you're coloring, it'll blend away. No one will ever notice. Mistakes are okay. And you can continue until the body just looks something like this. Next, we're going to add some details to all our feathers first on our wings. Now if you hold your pastel, if you're using pastel, just hold it on your edge because you can see that when you rotate it, there's different parts that become sharper than others. So always just keep rotating it onto the, the finest parts or the, the sharpest parts. So curve lines with some lines down the center to create some feather details. You can also add some curving or scale type lines on the body to add some texture and you can do some dashes on the neck for more feather texture on the turkey, on the top of every one of these lovely tail feathers. We're going to add a parallel curved line. And you can always add a line down the center for some feather detail and texture. Just like that. The background's going to be a little bit more abstract today. First, we're going to add uh, Add some white dots everywhere. Why not? Let's do that. Let's add some white dots. I love just watching these kinds of things appear when you're painting. It makes it a little bit more interesting. And it's fun to paint and watch all these different dots appear that you drew 
that you can't really see as you're drawing. Awesome. In the background, I'm also going to add some light splotches here and there of yellow and orange just to create some variety in my background. I'm going to keep it abstract today. We're just going to experiment with color and just see how it reacts with the paint. So just yellow and orange splotches here and there. You can even layer them. Why not? There is no rules in art. Just like that. You would feel really creative. You can even try smoothing parts of them out with your finger. Just see what happens. I'm going to color some of the finer details of my turkey. So I'm going to color the legs with the yellow. I'm going to color the beak orange. And I, this part of the turkey, I feel like it's called a snood. I read it one time, and I'm just going from memory here. And that one time was at least a year ago, so coloring that. <laughs> part red and if you want to get a little bit more detailed you can always add color some parts of the feathers as well there are no rules so you don't have to I'm gonna add color parts of the eyes white here so that it remains white after I paint just like that I'm also going to think, I think I'm going to now add, just add a little bit of green along these feathers here. Turkeys kind of have some, sometimes they can have really beautifully colored feathers that have different kind of highlights in them that are kind of interesting. Lovely, I think we're ready to paint. So for painting, we're going to need some water. I use watercolor paints, so this is my watercolor palette. The lovely thing is, is that once it dries, it's nice and hard, and you can just put it away in a drawer. So if you look here, it's very firm, but once I dip my paintbrush in some water, I put it on the color, I swirl a few times, and suddenly my paintbrush is loaded with paint, and I'm ready to paint. See how easy that is? It's lovely. And it's, uh, can, it doesn't, it's not very opaque, so you can see all your lovely details around it. And the thing about oil pastel is that it re resists or repels the paint. So that makes it a little bit more easier to paint and you can get some really fun effects. And we're just gonna simply be very gentle as we paint. We don't need to scrub the paper and we don't need to scrub the paint. I'm not too worried if I get, sometimes you've noticed that I've gotten it on my background paper. I'm really not too worried. I'm going to be painting my background with some warm colors anyways. And once the paints kind of blend together, it'll disappear. I don't, we don't get worried about mistakes when we make art. We just roll with it. Mistakes help us learn and they help us be creative and experiment. And there's no sense in worrying about them. It's all good. Now, if you would like some variety in your head, and you're noticing that it's kind of blending in a little bit too much, you can always add some yellow on top, and that will brighten up your body and make it a little bit more uh, of a focal point by comparison to your uh, tail feathers. So you can see already that it's just blending together. Lovely. 
Wonderful. Check out that turkey. You're going to be ready for Thanksgiving. There we go. Next, we're going to paint the background. And we're going to paint right over it with different, uh, with both either, with from some autumn colors. So we can paint it with orange, we can add some yellow, mix it all together, and really get that autumn vibe going. If your orange is too bright, you can just add more water with watercolors and it becomes a lot softer. So first add different splotches or areas of orange around your background. Just like this. Oh, that's red. Mm -hmm. And then you can paint the remaining areas with yellow. But of course, if you don't like the way I do it, feel free to change it at any time. You, of course, are the artist of your own artwork, not me. You should do what makes you happy. And if you just want yellow, you can just do yellow. If you want red, you can do red. And if you hate the way I've done my background, you can make it your own completely. Maybe you're actually designing a place where your turkey lives. Maybe your turkey's on a farm. Maybe it's running wild in a forest and it's a wild turkey. And he's not worried about Thanksgiving because he's wild and he's free. Or maybe you're a vegetarian and you just don't want to eat the turkey or you just don't like the taste of turkey. There's so many options. Anyway, the point of it is, is you do what makes you happy. You're the artist of your own work and there's no right or wrong way of doing anything. See? You can even try adding some yellow on top of the orange and see what happens when it dries. There are no right or wrong ways of doing anything. It is art and you should do things that make you happy. Lovely. Once your art piece is dry, you're going to set it aside, to, uh, sorry, <laughs> once your art piece is done, you're going to set it to the side to dry in a safe way. Make sure that you don't tip your art piece vertically um, because all that paint's going to move around and it's going to run onto your uh, working surface or all over the floor. And that's something that we don't want to happen. So when you're transferring your turkey, always make sure you slide your hand underneath it and you carry it flat. That is ideal. All right. So Artastic Nation, your art piece is now done. For more art tutorials, please on, head on over to my blog at misartastic.com. Check out some art tutorials there. Or for um, if you're an art teacher, please head on over to my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Uh, search Ms. Artastic um, in the search bar or even on Google. I'll show up, yo. Um, and you can find uh, more art tutorials. The link to my Teachers Pay Teachers store and my blog, of course, are in the comments section below the video. Um, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, I really uh, would appreciate that. And then you can get um, notifications as well for when new um, videos arrive. And uh, yeah, please check out my other videos. And for any teacher apparel or teacher t-shirts, you can check out my new uh, teacher t-shirt store. The link for that will be below the video as well. Uh, so please check it out and get some cool gear to wear to your classroom. Have an artastic day.